everyone, so this is my mare Kita and I'm getting ready for her to foal. She is currently 305 days in foal and last time she foaled at about 334. So we've got about a month left. So I thought it was the perfect opportunity to share with you what I've got in my foaling box video. Number one is an ivermectin based wormer and you have to give this to your mare four weeks before she's due to foal. So before the foal is born, you need to be prepared that you've got telephone numbers for your vet on your phone or written down or any just anywhere you can access at any point. You also need contact details for the mare, milk bank so you can access colostrum, uh, which you should be able to get off your vet, but there are some online which are really helpful. Hopefully, once the foal's been born, its umbilical cord will detach naturally and you won't have to intervene by cutting it. Um, we tend to use iodine to dry up the navel, um, but your vet may suggest using a dilutive chlorohexidine solution, which is also absolutely fine. Um, we follow the instructions on the back of, back, back of this bottle, um, but again, consult your vet if you have any concerns. If the umbilical cord and the navel area looks like it's bleeding, um, you can use some string to tie off the area to make sure there's no um, excessive bleeding. But if you're concerned, again, do contact your vet um, straight away if you've done before. Before the mare foals, I tend to bandage their tails a couple of days imminently, um, usually when I kind of know they're about to foal. This is just so it doesn't get too messy and it's easy for the placenta, etc. Shortly after the foal's been born, the placenta will still be hanging from the mare. Um, so stop her treading on it and pulling it when it's not ready to detach from the uterus yet. We tend to tie it up to the tail at the top to make sure that the mare doesn't stand on it. Next is the towel. It's always useful to have. We tend to not towel dry the foals because the mare licks them. But if it's really, really cold and the mare's not doing a great job because she's really tired or not very well, have a towel at hand so you can give them a good rub and get them warm. I also always have a little foal rug just to pop on if it's super, super cold. And, um, but I don't tend to leave it on for long just to kind of warm them up and um, make sure their temperature's okay. Next is an enema which you should only use if you're really confident in doing it. Your vet can show you how to do it. Um, I'm a vet nurse, so doing an enema is a normal thing for me. Um, you can get them online or your vet can give you them, but if you're not confident, I would recommend just getting your vet out to do it. Um, this is if the foal is a little bit blocked and struggling to pass its first, first lot of meconium. So um, we are really, really lucky to be sponsored by Protexin and um, we are going to be using this um, for our mare, so it's quick fix and it is a really, really good um, supplement to give them when they've been in a stressful situation. So we'll be giving this to our mare as soon as she's foaled just to help re reduce the acid in her stomach and all the good flora in her, in her tummy. Um, so there's lots of different doses you can give. Um, you can give it to the foal, but we've got another one for the foal which we'll be showing you shortly. Um, and you can give 10 mils per day, um, which is a 30 ml syringe, so you've got a three day, three day supply with this. Um, so it's a probiotic paste that is just really, really good to give to the mare after it's foaled because it is a stressful situation and you want to prevent any ulcers or anything gastric going wrong. So this is gut bind and this is what we'll be giving the foal when it's born. You give five mils every hour, every eight hours um, and it's really good to kind of bind all the good flora in the gut, foal's gut and um, settle things down when they've just started drinking milk which can be really, really rich to their little tummies um, after they've never ever drank it before. So I'd really recommend um, getting this for your foal um, as soon as it's been born. We tend to do this for a couple of days and as long as there's no problem with lots of scouring, um, we tend to stop but you can, you can use this for a while if if you're having trouble. So the next thing is a bottle. I think it's a crucial thing to have in your foaling kit. Hopefully you will never ever have to use it. If for some reason your foal is struggling to suckle or your mare isn't very well or sadly passes away, which I hate to say, but sometimes it does happen, you've got something there to use um, and you can go and get the milk from somewhere else and bring it back and you've got a meal to give your foal. So I always think it's great to have gloves because if you have to give your mare a helping hand, um, you don't want to go in arm deep if you're not used to doing something like that. It can be slightly gross. So I've got arm length gloves from um, AI because I'm an AI technician. Um, you can get these online or you can ask your vet for a box. I'm sure they'll be happy to give them to you. Um, also, a pair of scissors. You never know when you might need it. Um, we've got some surgical curved scissors, um, which I use at work. Um, so make sure they're clean and not covered in anything horrible. So the next is a pair of scissors, always have one in your foiling kit, you never know when you might need them. Um, just be careful when cutting things, like you don't want to cut the umbilical cord with a non-sterile set of scissors. Um, if you're really concerned and it's not detached, please call your vet, they will come out and do it in a sterile manner, you don't want to kind of be adding infection anywhere and things like that. And the last thing 
it's a foal slip. This is actually Champ's foal head collar from when he was a baby, so it's really weird that he's going to be passing it down to his little child. Um, <laughs> so can't wait to put it on them. Anyway, I really hope you enjoyed the video and found it informative. Um, any questions about foaling, please email me or text in. We're happy to answer your, all your questions. Best of luck with all of your lovely foals, and I hope to see lots of pictures of them. Lovely little Kita, all pregnant and ready to pop. And this is Daddy, chillaxing in the field. Not a care in the world that he's going to become a father to several foals in the short period of time. Bless him.